So before starting the video, I would recommend you to watch the entire video because I've put in a lot of hard facts in this video and I believe that this video will help you make a decision whether you should start entrepreneurship or not. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, hello everyone. My name is Tan Singh and I'm a second year student at IIT BHU and on this channel, I document my journey, I document my life, I document what happens in college and it's kind of a bit different from the typical social media where people just show their accomplishments, show their victories, show the good part of their life. But on this channel, I kind of, uh, I'm trying to show everything that's going on in my life. I'm trying to show the challenges that I'm going through, uh, the difficulties that I face uh, in building my own startups in it, in college and Typically, I am trying to show both sides of college life and both sides of building your own startup as a college student. And yeah, that's what I do on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about why entrepreneurship is actually so hard. And I haven't scripted anything for this video. Whatever I'm going to say is going to come out of my heart, come out of experiences. So uh, I might break at some points of the video, but I guess that's fine because you're getting a totally authentic piece of information and something that hasn't been polished and is being presented in a way such that it doesn't hurt you much. It's actually completely raw. Uh, so whatever I'm going to talk about in today's video is going to be completely raw and complete reality of entrepreneurship and uh, taking up a challenge of building something as a student. So currently I'm working on building my startup called Zenit. Zenit is basically a startup that visions to kind of build the esports infrastructure in India. The main goal is to build a tournament in India, just like IPL uh, for esports. And that is the vision that we carry and that we want to build and what exactly we are doing at present is that we conduct tournaments and we are trying to build a huge community trying to build good amount of distribution the reason being because when you have distribution it becomes easy to build over that distribution and you get to know where what mistakes you're making you have constant feedback coming in from users from people who are actually using your product and all of that so that's the reason why we have started conducting a lot of tournaments and trying to build up a community for BGMI players. Currently, we stand at a community of 350 plus members. We have conducted three tournaments and we have had around 100 plus gamers play in those tournaments. So yeah, it was uh, quite a good achievement, I feel, for the first few months of Zenit. And now we have planned a lot of other things as well like we have planned a product for people who want to conduct these tournaments so we have planned to build a tournament management software so you can easily manage the gaming tournament you're conducting and the second thing that we have planned for the next year is a kind of a tournament management software for content creators specific for content creators so what content creators can create a new stream of income for themselves by utilizing, uh, by creating tournaments for their community. So it's not the typical tournament that content creators will create. They can create innovative ways of conducting a tournament. Like you can have a weekly tournament where you start taking part from Monday and then uh, by the end of the week, the top three players get to play with the gamer himself and himself or herself and uh, come feature in the live stream with the gamer so yeah this is an innovative way content creators can actually make money out of and when you talk about small content creators who have just started who have like a following of 2000 to 5000 people and uh, they don't get high value brand deals and along with that they don't really have a team to manage such tournaments so they could utilize our software to manage these tournaments without actually having a need of a team. So that's what we have thought of building in the next year. And we believe that this could be a very lucrative uh, 
source of monetization for uh, streamers with a smaller following and uh, kind of they can escape the trap of brand deals using this source of monetization and yeah mm -hmm. that's what we are trying to build but what are exactly the challenges we face in doing this uh, the first challenge is to actually find customers without spending money because we haven't raised investments because uh, what we think is raising investment on the basis of just an idea will result in a huge dilution of the company and which affects the future growth of any startup so w what you need to think of is uh, first build something and then raise money because that will help you command higher valuations and prevent uh, a huge dilution in your company and uh, I guess that's a very important factor to look upon and when you don't have money to actually spend uh, on acquiring customers you need to find ways of making money and then using that money to actually acquire customers making money and then use that money to build products so uh, we are just figuring out ways that we can kind of start making money like a 10k or a 15k per month and I get I guess that will be sufficient to run the first few months of the company and that's how we plan to work uh, so this is the first challenge the first challenge is how do we manage the expenses uh, the second challenge is when you are trying to build something uh, you often end up comparing yourself to your fellow batchmates who are actually preparing for internships who are preparing for jobs who are preparing for interviews and when when you see everyone around you preparing for uh, internships preparing for jobs preparing for interviews uh, you kind of fall into a trap and you constantly fall into a fear that what if I'm not able to build this I'll end up wasting so much time because I feel a person who builds something of their own and a person who works for someone else have totally different skill set skill sets and when you take up the journey of building something as a student you end up cultivating a different skill set end up cultivating a different mindset and that skill set and that mindset probably won't end up uh, taking you into end up taking end up getting you a job and uh, you might uh, end up struggling for the first few years in your career and when you think about this constantly every day every night and you constantly compare to your batchmates to everyone around you you kind of fear a lot and you kind of uh, think twice about your this about all your decisions and you kind of fall into a trap of overthinking and this affects your work this affects uh, the productivity you require to build something of your own and uh, this in itself is a very big challenge and the third challenge you face as a, an entrepreneur and a student is that when you kind of like you find a lot of people on internet trying to build something of your own so you feel like okay yeah there are a lot of people who are trying to build something of your own but when you talk about people actually uh, take talking about going into the field of entrepreneurship and planning to become a founder these uh, the number of these people around you in your college in your class in your uh, hostel is very low it's like super 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 low and that's the reason you kind of feel that disconnected with people around you you kind of feel alone you kind of feel like uh, you don't have friends and it's a very lonely process and when you hear a lot of entrepreneurs when you hear a lot of successful founders you read about those founders you end up realizing that all of them are lonely and all of them were in a phase of life where they felt that they didn't have any friend they didn't have anyone with them they didn't have anyone who they could share things with and huh, this sounds very depressing but it's one thing that uh, kind of happens in every career i believe because uh, suppose you're a person who is in a commerce college and who's in an engineering college and wants to actually become a content creator 
so you will end up finding people who are not like you who are actually preparing for a software job and you'll feel like okay i don't have friends that's why you might have noticed that a lot of college students who get into content creation are very lonely people in their college they don't actually have friends and this happens in every career this is not specific to entrepreneurship when you're in a particular career field and you try to switch to an another career field you end up losing friends in your old career field and i guess this is very normal because you don't you do not have any point of contact like any common topic that you'll discuss with that person so yeah i guess uh this is very normal to happen and you don't need to stress over this a lot and uh, you kind of need to start enjoying your own company enjoying your co-founders company and yeah that's what you should think about and uh the and one more thing that uh is a challenge you face as an entrepreneur is that you can't find balance you the term balance in your life gets over there's no work life balance it's like you're working constantly sometimes you need to work the whole night sometimes you need you need to sleep for only 2 hours and it's very normal uh, that's the reason why all entrepreneurs all successful founders tell you that we followed our passion um uh, steve jobs talks up uh, used to talk up a lot about passion why why do they talk a lot about passion the reason is because uh for an entrepreneur work and life are the same thing and honestly if you do not like what you're building then it will be very tough uh, for you to work on it uh give extra time on to it kind of uh build it kind of scale it to a certain point it's very tough for you to make it uh, if you are not genuinely interested in it and if you do not genuinely enjoy it so i feel every successful entrepreneur out there has done something that they have enjoyed either they have enjoyed their team spending time with their team or they have genuinely enjoyed building that thing on their own so it could be anything uh, some entrepreneurs come out and say that oh we genuinely didn't have a passion in that and we just ended up building it by uh, following a disciplined process uh, i honestly don't believe in that because those type of entrepreneurs if you look at them closely they genuinely like the company of their team they genuinely love their team they genuinely uh, loved spending time with their team and that's what creates the difference so either you like the team or like the team and enjoy working with them enjoy spending time with them or you like what you're building and enjoy building it it's totally your choice and it's totally okay to be on any side and yeah i feel this is a challenge that every entrepreneur will face that they feel that they are working constantly they are not getting results but they are still working because they are enjoying that work uh from outside it sounds depressing that you're just working you're just working and you're not getting uh results while others around you who are preparing for their job interviews or preparing for something else or doing competitive programming or doing web development they are getting their results by building projects they are building on their resume why are we not getting results but uh this just sounds depressing when you're actually building something of your own uh, you have another type of joy and uh, there's one a uh, start book which i read called burn the business plan and in that book there's one line which says that the people people who build something and see that uh being accepted in the marketplace and people see that solving problems for people uh are the ones who actually uh, get a different level of happiness so uh basically that study wanted came to a conclusion that people who build something for others end up being more happy it's not the result that drives that happiness to entrepreneurs it's 
the fact that they're seeing their solution being implemented in the marketplace that uh, keeps them happy and uh, entrepreneurship might look very depressing from the outside but honestly in itself it's a very it's a process which you're going to enjoy a lot because you'll see your solutions being implemented in the market you'll hear feedback from people about how your product is actually impacting their lives and what i feel about entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship is not about solving problems uh, like everyone solves problems even a person who's working in his job solves a problem solves some problem for the company that's why the company pays money to him entrepreneurship is not about solving problems entrepreneurship is about solving problems at such a high scale that you impact lives of many people and in this process you end up creating a lot of wealth for yourself for your team and for everyone around you you end up creating value for them so entrepreneurship is not really about solving problems it's about the scale at which you're solving problems and yeah that's what excites me about entrepreneurship and that's what has taken me to follow this part about entrepreneurship and yeah that's it for today's video this is quite a long video uh if you have made it to the end of the video then i think entrepreneurship excites you as well and i would recommend everyone to at least try entrepreneurship in one part of their life and uh, there's no other part like and college is honestly the best part of your life where you would want to try entrepreneurship because you have plenty of time in your hand and uh it lets you uh, and if you kind of make it in entrepreneurship it lets you get a command over your own life and that's what drives me every day to get command on my own life and that's what actually motivates me to build a bootstrap startup because i do not want too much pressure of investors either take very less invest investments or try to build it bootstrap and yeah that's what is my motivation behind entrepreneurship and why did i choose gaming the honest answer to that is that uh i want to get people together and historically sports has always been a reason for people to come together and celebrate things together and i feel in the future esports is also going to be a huge reason for people to come together and yeah i am just kind of solving a problem in the esports industry but uh, the reality is i am trying to get more and more people together and that's what is the main mission the main motivation to build something in the gaming industry and yeah that's it for today's video if you like such videos and if you want to follow along my journey of building zenit then do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you do not miss any other video and thank you for watching till the very end bye meet you in the next video